Do you have degraded soil? Do you have lower as 3% organic material in your soil? Do you have problems with that your nutrients do not stay long enough in your soil? Do you have problems with insects and soil organisms? Then maybe biochar might be a solution. It's capable to take in water, nutrients and other materials, just like a sponge. Michael Dege from the Namibia Charcoal Association explains this. We are here to look at uh, biochar, which is a valuable addition to our products on charcoal, so it fits nicely in between. You can use any encroached tree species in Namibia, it still carries on, and that's how we add layer on layer. Till you right on top, you can get out of small Kontiki kiln, you can get about 500, half a ton of biochar out of that small size, because you fill it to the brim. And in the end, the big difference between charcoal and Kontiki that we use here, and then we, you can use a hammer mill for that. We use a normal traditional stamping tool, like most farmers have it on the farm, just to make it smaller parts and then it's... ...city of these lax soils. South of Vintuk at Farm Krumhuk, biochar is used today to improve soils and productivity in the market garden. So I'm Mareike Vogts. I'm the vegetable garden coordinator. So at Krumhuk, we use the biochar main and we then apply it on the soil. We dig it in a little bit so that it's just it doesn't decompose, it doesn't degrade. So it stays within the soil for hundreds and maybe even thousands of years. So if you put it into your soil once, you will keep it. So the inoculation or charging of the biochar means that before we add it to the soil, we want to include the nutrients and the microorganisms into that biochar. Because if we wouldn't do that, and we would just include the biochar raw without that charging or inoculation, it would take the nutrients and the microbes from it. So that also is, is water with lots of nutrients and also the microbes. Close to Okongo in northern Namibia, communal farmers are farming.